Since the beginning, gym leaders have been type specialists. This could be for a couple of reasons. It teaches the player type matchups, helps the player iron out weaknesses their team may have, and as a bonus, gym leaders being type specialists makes them easier. But what if gym leaders did not have to follow a type specialty, and instead had diverse teams like Raihan and some Sinnoh leaders? Let's first establish the rules we'll be using for the team building. Rule number one, the gym leader's current ace pokemon will remain the same rule number two the pokemon would all preferably have different types but if there is type overlap the gym leader's original type specialty should still show up the most i'm using raihan's gym team as a reference for this yes he has two ground types but one of those ground types is his dragon type flygon still making dragon his most pronounced type with his ace duralodon finally rule number three gym leaders are allowed to share an evolutionary line so so long as they're different stages of that evolutionary line. Take the black and white triplets and Lenora as an example. However, the evolutionary line of another gym leader's ace is off limits. But now, let's find out what the gym leader's new diverse teams are. We of course start with the one and only Kanto gym leaders. Brock's new diverse team is Zubat and Onyx. Not only does Zubat reference the one Brock had in the anime, but Zubat is caught in Mount Moon just like Geodude. Misty's new team is Jigglypuff and Starmie. Since Togetic isn't an option, the next best thing was Clefairy or Jigglypuff. And I chose Jigglypuff since Misty has Wigglytuff in Pokemon Stadium 2. Prepare to hear about Stadium 2 a lot for the Kanto and Johto leaders. Lieutenant Surge's new team is Machop, Porygon, and Raichu. Machop is a tough, macho Pokemon sailors outside Surge's gym use. And Porygon is a Pokemon Pokemon Lieutenant Surge has on his Stadium 2 team. Erica's new team is Eevee, Vulpix, and Vileplume. Now, Eevee and Vulpix are a Stadium 2 Pokemon, but they also make sense with Erica being the Celadon City Gym Leader, with Celadon being where you buy the Evolution Stones. Koga's new team is Electrobe, Magmar, Venomoth, and Golbat. Electrobe and Magmar are Stadium 2 picks, but also fit with the Ninja theme, and Venomoth from his original team gets to stay. Sabrina's new team is Hitmonlee, Scyther, Haunter, and Alakazam. Some nice trivia is that Sabrina be the fighting dojo for the Saffron Gym, so why not say that Sabrina took a Hitmonlee as a trophy? Scyther is a Stadium 2 pick, Haunter references Sabrina in the anime, and together they could help train Alakazam against his weaknesses. Blaine's new team is Parasect, Clefable, Ditto, and Arcanine. Parasect and Clefable are both Stadium 2 picks, and Ditto references the Pokemon Mansion. Finally, Giovanni's team is Persian, Gyarados, Gengar, Nidoking, and Rhydon. Persian and Nidoking are returning Pokemon he's had in gym teams. Gyarados is a powerhouse I could see Giovanni having the patience to train, and Gengar is a stadium pick he could have caught with a self scope. Now for the underappreciated Johto gym leaders. Starting with Faulkner, whose new diverse team is Bellsprout and Pidgeotto. With Sprout Tower being a culturally significant place in Violet City, I feel it only makes sense for its gym leader to have one. Bugsy's new team is Rattata, Wooper, and Scyther. Rattata and Wooper are both Stadium 2 picks, and with Bugsy's design, early route Pokemon like this may be up his alley. Whitney's new team is Fanpy and Miltang. Fanpy is a Stadium 2 pick, and a cute Pokemon I can see Whitney using. And for the longest time, Fanpy only had normal level up moves anyways. Morty's new team is Cubo, Giraffe Rig, Sudowoodo, and Gengar. You can probably guess, but yes, these are Stadium 2 picks. But Cubone might as well be an honorary ghost type, Giraffe Rig has some illusion based powers being a psychic type, and Sudowoodo is a roadblock you must pass to get to Ecrotique City. Chuck's new team is Granbull and Poirat. Yeah, Stadium 2 pick. But hey, Granbull is a tough looking Pokemon, so they fit anyways. Jasmine's new team is Corsola. Ampharos, and Steelix. Yes, Corsola is a Stadium 2 pick, but also references how Jasmine was once a Rock-type gym leader. And of course, Amphi had to be here. Price's new team is Ursaring, Tentacruel, and Piloswine. Guess where I got the ideas from. Finally, Claire's new team is Gyarados, Rhydon, Dragonair, and Kingdra.
drug. Yeah, another Stadium 2 pick, but one I might have picked anyways. Rhydon kinda helps with the blue theme Claire's teams tend to have. Alright, with Johto covered, I have to do more thinking with these teams. No more relying on a spin-off title to do the heavy lifting for me. Now for the 7 point out of 10 Hoenn Gym Leaders. Starting with Roxanne, whose diverse team is Santru and Nosepass, with Whismur being an Emerald Edition. Santru is found in the desert, where Roxanne would have to go for fossils, and Whismur is found near Rustboro City. Brawly's new team is Aaron and Makuhita, with Tentacool and Emerald. Aaron is found in Granite Cave near Dufert Town, and with Brawly being a surfer, Tentacool makes sense. Watson's new team is Wingle, Magneton, and Manetric, plus Gopin. Wingle and Gopin are found near Mauville City, and Watson gets both his Ruby and Sapphire Ace and his Emerald Ace. Flannery's new team is Spoink, Meryl, and Torkoal, and Numo and Emerald. Spoink and Meryl are found near Lava Ridge Town, and Meryl can even help with the Lava Ridge Hot Springs. Plus, Numo is here as a Pokemon commonly associated with Flannery. Norman's new team is Machoke, Horsula, and Slacking, plus Lanoon. Machoke is to reference the ones who helped Norman's family move. Horsula is found near Olivine, where Norman's family is originally from, and Lanoon since Zigzagoon are found near Petalburg City, and Norman let Wally borrow a Zigzagoon to catch his rolls. Winona's new team is Castform, Kecleon, Skarmory, and Altaria, plus Gloom. For Castform, I could see Winona visiting the nearby Weather Institute, and Kecleon, Skarmory, and Gloom are all found near Fortree City. Tate and Liza's new team is Plusol, Minon, Lunatone, and Solrock. Plus, on Minon's whole thing are doubles, and so are Tate and Liza's. Wallace's new team is Love Disc, Roselia, Delcaddy, Armaldo, and Milotic. Since Wallace is a contest star, I gave him pretty looking Pokemon, and our motto is to reference Wallace's friendship with Steven. Finally, Juan's team would be similar, just with Fragili and Kingdra instead. Now for my turf, the Sinnoh Gym Leaders. Starting with Rourke, whose diverse team is Machop, Ponyta, and Cranidos. Machop and Ponyta are found near the Orberg Gym. Machop could help with mining while Ponyta could carry around carts. Gardenia's new team is Combi, Munchlax, and Roserade. Combi and Munchlax are honey tree Pokemon, with one near Eterna City. This references the tree theme Gardenia's gym has in Diamond and Pearl. Maylene's new Diamond and Pearl team is Onyx, Sneasel, and Lucario, with Piloswine taking the place of Sneasel and Platinum. Onyx is oddly synonymous with fighting specialists thanks to Bruno, and Maylene is besties with Canned Ice, so an Ice type makes sense. Crasher Wake's new team is Toxicroak, Snorlax, and Floatzel. With how revered Krogan is in Pastoria, Crasher Wake having one fits, and Snorlax could work as a wrestling partner for Crasher Wake. Fantina's new Diamond and Pearl team is Raichu, Lopunny, and Miss Magius. With Raichu and Lopunny being Pikachu and Buneary and Platinum, Raichu and Lopunny are evolutions to Pokemon allowed in Amity Square. Byron's new team is Machoke, Golduck, and Bastiodon. Machoke and Golduck are meant to parallel Rourke in a way. Machoke is an evolution to a Rourke Pokemon, and Psyduck is found in Orberg Gate. Canned Ice's new team is Snover, Golbat, Metacham, and Abomasnow in DP. And in Platinum, Sneasel replaces Snover while Frostlass is the new Ace. Most of these are from teams Canned Ice has already used, aside from Golbat who is from Snowpoint Temple. Finally is Volkner, where his Diamond and Pearl team is perfect for this video. So Raichu, Ambipom, Octillery, and Luxray, with Electivire being his ace and platinum. Finally, we stop today at the fabulous Unova Gym Leaders, starting with the triplets, where their teams already work for the video, that being Lillipup and their respective elemental monkeys. Now going to Lenora, her team is Roggenrola and Watchog. Lenora is an archaeologist who probably spends a lot of time in caves. As such, she probably would have run into a lot of Roggenrola in her time. Berg's new team is Darumaka, Audino, and Levani. Darumaka is found north of Castilia City, just like Dwebble. And as for Audino, I don't know, I just think they get along. Elisa's new team is Chinchino, Lilligant, and Zipstrika. With Elisa being a model, I thought beautiful Pokemon would fit. Chinchino already has fashion as the Scarf Pokemon, and Lilligant is a confirmed beautiful Pokemon by Lusamine. And in Black 2 and White 2, Chinchino could be swapped out with Lopunny. Clay's new team is Bodor, Girder, and Excadrill. Bodor and Girder 
here are both found in Twist Mountain, which Clay owns. Alternatively, one of these could be swapped out with Whimsicott, a Pokemon Clay's daughter, Lacey, has on her team. Skyla's new team is Behem, Golurk, and Swanna. LGM is found in Celestial Tower, where Skyla often visits. And in case you didn't know, Golurk can actually learn Fly. Bryson's new team is Mian Chao, Mandibuzz, and Bear Tick. Mian Chao fits with Bryson's martial artist theme, and Mandibuzz is a Pokemon Bryson uses as Bryson Man. Next is Drayden and Iris, where they'll have similar teams. Their new teams are Archaeops, Crocodile, and Haxorus. Iris has an Archaeops as a champion, but to make sure it's not too broken, their moveset wouldn't be as good. And Crocodile is Dragon adjacent if you ask me. Staying in Unova, let's also go over the Black 2 and White 2 gym leaders. Starting with Charon, whose diverse team is Purloin and Lillipup. Charon seems to have an early route Pokemon theme with his team, so instead of Patrat, he'll have Purloin, who is also the pre-evolution to a Pokemon he had as a rival. Roxy's new team is Elekid and Whirlipede. Elekid is found near Verbank City and could help charge instruments and create light shows during concerts. Plus, the guitarist trainer class does tend to use electric types. Our final gym leader for today is Marlin. His new team is Swoobat, Electros, and Jellicent. I'll be honest, I don't have much other than these being near Humilao, though I guess Swoobat seems pretty chill, and Electros is more or less water adjacent. And there you have it, folks. Pokemon gym leaders with diverse teams. I know we only went up to Unova, but if this video does well, I can definitely do a part 2 going up to Paldea. But what do you think about this video? What did you think of the diverse teams I built? What changes to the teams would you make? Did I unknowingly break my own rules at any point? Let me know in the comments below. And become a member if you're interested. It's only 2 bucks a month. Have a nice day, you wonderful people. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot Janine. Her team is Electrobe, Magmar, Ariados, Kangaskhan, and Venomon. Electrobe and Magmar for the same reasoning as Koga. Electrobe can act as a bomb while Magmar can create smoke screens. And Kangaskhan is to reference the Safari Zone.